Hello everyone, my name is Kamran Akbarzadeh. I'm the founder of Dream Achievers Academy. Thank you so much for watching this training video on how to live a passionate life. Do you want to live with more joy? Do you want to achieve your passions and fulfill your dreams in your life? Do you want to have a better relationship? or having what you really want in your life? So if your answer is yes, then you are at the right place watching the right video. Over the next few days, I'm going to share with you a training video that has three parts. The first part, I'm going to talk about the problem. What are the problems that we face so that we cannot achieve what we want in our lives? The second part is about the solutions. What are the solutions for achieving what we want and living a passionate life? And the third part is about the way forward. What are the next steps that you can take in order to have a more passionate life? So let's move on to the first part, the problems. The studies show that only 20% of working Americans are living their passions and dreams. This means that 80% of people are not happy in their lives. In other words, 4 out of 5 people are not fulfilled with their lives. Which group be, do you belong to? To 20% fulfilled or the 80% unhappy? No matter which group you belong to, this video will help you to have a more passionate and more fulfilling life. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you are, is about six reasons why 80% of us are not happy with our lives and are not passionate in our lives. The first reason is that we procrastinate. We tend to delay things. We tend not to act right away on what comes into our mind to do. We tend to let things stay and then say, oh, I'm going to do it later. This is procrastination and many people face that. The second thing or the second reason is that too much to do with no plan. Most of us have lots of things to do and we say, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this. But we don't have any plan and we don't know where to start and which way we have to take. We don't have any schedule, we don't have any plan and we have a lot to do. The third reason is that we are too busy yet we don't love what we do. And that's sad. Many of us are working and we don't really love our career. We don't love what we do. And we are too busy with what we are doing right now. And this is not right. We cannot say, I'm too busy, but on the other hand, I really don't like my job. The fourth reason is that we have fears and doubts. When we have fear and doubt, means that we don't have any trust in ourselves and others. Means that we don't really know what's going to happen next. Right? So when we have fears, there is a resistance. And we don't want to get out of our comfort zone and then expand ourselves and then achieve what we want. The next reason is that we think too much and we are confused. Most of us have lots of thoughts. Many of those thoughts are waste thoughts. And we tend to have those thoughts and then do nothing about them. And then when we have all of these thoughts coming to us, then we are confused. And we say, oh, I don't know what to do next. I'm confused. I don't see my way. I don't know how to get out of this. I, I'm stuck. I don't know where to go. And many of us face that. 
And the sixth reason is that we really don't know our purpose, passions, and dreams. And this could be the root cause. When we procrastinate, when we have too much to do with no plan, when we are too busy and we don't love what we do, when we have lots of fears and doubts, and when we think too much and we are confused and stuck, means that we really don't know our purpose. We don't know what our passions are, and we don't know our dreams. Or if we know, we don't want to take the next step and fulfill them. So, what is the problem? What is the problem that we don't achieve our dreams? I divided that to four segments. The first one is that we have forgotten our dreams and our passions. As children, we all had many dreams. We wanted to be this, I wanted to be a doctor, I want to be a pilot, I want to be this, I want to be that. But later, we forget about them. When we grow up, we say no to them. The second is that we give up. When we face the first storm and we face obstacles, then we give up. We say, oh, it's too hard. I have a big dream, but it's too hard to achieve it. That's not the right thought. The third thing is that we delay our dreams. We say, oh, I have this big dream, but I'm too busy right now. I'm going to do it, I'm going to achieve it when I retire. We say, I don't have resources, I don't have money, I don't have this team, I'm not that, I don't have that title. And with all these excuses, we delay our dreams. And the more we delay them, the harder it becomes to be achieved. And the fourth one, the fourth category is that our dreams are not known. We don't know. We say, I don't know. I don't know what my dream is. I'm just living the life. I don't know where I'm going. I have no destination. And this is when our dreams are not known. So what is lacking? The first thing is that for many of us, the direction is not known. We don't know really what is the direction that we are taking. Where are we going? What is our path that takes us to having a more fulfilling life? The other thing is that for many of us, maybe we have the direction, but we don't have the motivation. We don't have the passion. We don't have the inspiration to take this path because we think that it's going to be too hard. For some of us, there is no action. We know where we are going. We know that we are going to get there. And we, if we get there, we're going to have a great life. But we don't do it. It's just daydream, right? Vision without action is a daydream. So no matter how great your idea is, no matter how great uh, your thoughts are, if you don't act upon them and don't take the necessary steps, they don't, they're not worth it. So action is also lacking for some people. The other thing is that th some of us think that we don't have any support. We don't have a dream team. We don't have a great backup. We don't have people who understand us. So we don't have support. So for some of us, lack of support is something that we need. And for others is that even when we take the steps, we achieve things, we don't celebrate. And when you don't celebrate and you think that it's too small, it's not that big thing that I want, it's a small step, it's a small thing, and we don't celebrate, we're not happy about that. And just because of that, we may give up, right? So, lack of direction, lack of motivation, 
lack of action, lack of support, and lack of celebration are the lacking parts that because of them we tend not to go and take the necessary steps and achieve our dreams and have a fulfilling life. So in the next part, the next video, I'm going to share with you the solutions. What are the solutions for having a fulfilling life, for overcoming the, our fears and for filling the gaps that we see uh, toward achieving our dreams? See you next time.